Alicia here and I am back with another travel videography gear review of sorts. I'm about to unbox what sounds like it's going to be an amazing piece of equipment that's going to help us all level up our travel videography, specifically our underwater travel videography, and it's going to help us level up our fun in the water as well. This is the White Shark Mix Underwater Scooter by Sublue. I am so excited to have Sublue sponsoring this video, not only so I can try out this awesome piece of gear, but also share it with you. So let's see what's in the box and let's try it out together. We have the user manual. There's basically a lot of safety information in here, but for the most part, this thing is very easy to use right out of the box. There's nothing to learn, and it's also very safe. Okay, we have the battery pack, the battery. Unboxings are awkward. We've got a custom safety leash because you don't want to lose a piece of equipment like this. And actually, when I first saw this thing, I was afraid of what happens if you drop it in the ocean. Is it going to sink? but apparently it does not sink. It floats or it stays buoyant somehow, we'll find out. And this is the body of the aircraft. It literally looks like a miniature futuristic plane that is meant to fly underwater and that's exactly what it's going to do. So you hold it like this, you've got your little trigger buttons right here. And this particular model is Arctic White, which I personally love. They do have uh, space gray, they've got a yellow, and then they've got a really pretty blue. This is actually the color of my shirt. Uh, that one's really nice too, but white is my jam, so I think this thing looks pretty good on me so far. And there's the logo. Now the best part about this by far, as it pertains to underwater videography, is the GoPro mount right on the front of the machine. So if you've ever tried to film underwater with a GoPro, you will know that you can't swim through the water and hold the camera at the same time. You're either gonna do that one-handed swim and try to film while you're moving, or you're gonna just kinda of hold the GoPro and not move very much. So this solves the problem where you've got the GoPro mounted and you're just gliding through the water. It also comes with a handy carrying case. And as far as traveling with this, it seems a bit bulky, but I think if you have a very specific trip where you're going to beaches or islands and you're gonna be swimming pretty much the whole time, you're just bringing like five bikinis, a few cover-ups, a few GoPros, then throwing this in the bag just might be worth it. And you can take this top part off. This is called the floater. It just helps it float a little bit more. Um, but apparently if you're a strong swimmer and you're not worried about that, then this part can be removed and it's a lot smaller. It is fully FAA compliant, so you can carry it on a plane. You could probably fit it into a travel gear bag or just a backpack and you're good to go. Now I'm gonna test this first in my backyard pool, which is where I feel the safest. But after that, I'm going to take it out to the Gulf, which is our version of the ocean here in Pensacola and see what it does in open water. This will be the first time I've used anything like this in either of these bodies of water. So I'm super excited. All right, it's ready to go. I'm so excited to try it. Here I go. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. My gosh, that was so cool. Oh my gosh. It's so relaxing. I don't have to kick or anything. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm flying through the water. And it just it picks up speed pretty quickly. <laughs> okay. Ah! So it's definitely helpful to make your body aerodynamic or water dynamic, I guess. And just relax and enjoy the ride. Okay, that was really, really a ton of fun, and I'm so super excited now to be at Johnson's Beach in Perdido Key, Florida, where my husband has joined me, and we are going to take this thing out into the Gulf to see what it can do in open water. He's actually a really strong underwater swimmer. I think it's the military training, so we're gonna see him put the white shark mix to the test, and I'm gonna film him, and we're also gonna roll the GoPro and see what we can see in the water. You ready to try this thing out? Yeah, let's do it. Does the military have anything like this? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna love it. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Relaxing. It's definitely best if you uh, stick your arms almost straight out. 
Okay. To reduce drag. Okay, so now we're gonna take the floater off, which is gonna make it float a little bit less, uh, which is good if you are a strong swimmer. It makes it smaller and lighter and all that good stuff. That's cool. It doesn't feel a lot different. Um, it's just smaller and it doesn't it doesn't have quite as much buoyancy, but that's a good thing if you're trying to swim underwater anyway. Okay, so this piece of gear does not float without the floater. So that's what the leash is for. We don't have the leash in this environment, but it would be helpful if you were dive diving. Now you go. All right, this concludes our tests of the Sublue White Shark Mix. The battery has died. It has about a 30 minute life. I thought it was a lot of fun. I did too, it was a good time. It definitely propels you through water, which is so exciting. You don't have to use any exertion, which is really, really nice. It's and important to streamline. Yes, streamline your body. These are our tips so far. And the depth is 40 meters, uh, 20 meters with the floater. Now we got it down about. And we're on a sandbar. So maybe six, eight feet, plus, yeah. like when we were out there. Yeah, not too deep at all. But I think this thing would be amazing to take to some real snorkeling sites or dive sites or somewhere with like crystal clear water so you could really get some good footage. Um, yeah, we had so much fun with it. Yeah, so, I look forward to charging it up, doing it again. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll bring it back to the beach for sure. So we definitely recommend you check it out if it might have any place in your life. I will link to it uh, in the video description below and on the blog at ama.tv. And stay tuned to the channel for more fun video production gear reviews and travel videos and adventures in our van. Yeah. Where are we going Dude. next? I think we're going to some state park to stay with your parents. Yeah, we are. We're going to Florida Caverns. Yeah, that's right. That'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching, guys. We will cool. see you next time. Peace. Bye.